Okay, it's back. I don't know what happened. And I thought that everything was moving smoothly, but it was not. And it looked like we were not meant to travel together all, um, after all. Unfortunately, that was after I had built the bus. Now, whenever I build things or have anything to do with things, I use vibration. Very, very important. And uh, uh, my traveling companion and I were very, very, very different. So I had to do a lot of compromises in order to get the, the uh, highest vibration for both of us within this bus. In order to make it the most fun and for to make it the safest so we'd stay out of that low vibration of fear. However, when she left, um, uh, all of the vibrations were very, very, very wrong. They weren't me, they weren't us, they weren't her, they weren't, uh, they just didn't work at all. So basically what I tried to do at first was I tried to just vibrationally change things without changing much else. And that I worked on for about a month and a half, and it so did not work. At the same time, I was doing some work on the planet, which I will do a video on probably tomorrow and try to explain what I've been doing planetarily, because um, I know you guys are curious about it, so I'm going to try to explain it. I'm going to do the best I can. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Ha -ha. So anyway, it did not work. So basically what I had to do was um, take everything out and rebuild just pretty much all of it. I think uh, at this point I've got about a 95% rebuild on it. The outside I've not done yet. Ironically, the outside after she left, everything, about 90% of the outside faded to nothing in like a week. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> So I'm going to be redoing that by hand, really. I'm going to be copying what I did, but I'm going to do it by hand with the colors that I want, uh, specifically. So I had to come in here, bring, take everything out, bring everything back in, and then rebuild everything again with my vibrations. Really, these are my vibrations alone. Um, certainly, it works for anybody who wants to visit for any length of time, but it is definitely built on my vibrations alone this time. So, I've got plants, um, aloe vera, basil, and then just a big beautiful plant fern that I just love. So, and then if we go over here, you'll see that I, what I did was I changed my, uh, you'll see a color shift. The colors are completely different now. And that's because it's very, very important to me what colors I'm surrounded by. Especially, as you well know, I'm a huge, huge, huge believer in pink. Pink to me is uh, real love. Uh, the love on the other side. Uh, unconditional love. That's what pink is. Soft and wonderful. I love pink. So there's a lot of pink in here. I know you're not surprised at all. So here I've got, also I've, I've leaned real heavily towards this new metal that they make a certain way so that it has multicolors in it. That is pulling some really nice vibrations for me. So I've got some cups with that metal and uh, these with the metal. And then the uh, small appliances were not working with white at all. So change those out and you can see I went retro with bright red, bright yellow, and teal. I moved Stephanie's drawings in here. And then I sprayed this. Uh, well, these used to be copper. If you remember now, it's yellow and blue and white. Here's that metal again. And, uh, yeah. And then you can see on the entryway, you already saw that I had that rag rug. And that draws energy from all over the place. And then, oh, uh, you can go this way, Steph. And then you can look at the floor. This is uh, a kind of an Aztec design on purpose, and it's kind of got the uh, worn look. And that's a new thing, I guess. Now you can look over here. Again, we've got color, color, color. Multicolor metal for my cups. Still have the multicolor glass, which was very important. Now I have multicolor 
um, knives. This stuff down here, I put a pop of the colored towels and glued on some butterflies until I can get that facade covered. Here's my bright flowers. The water and the water, I've added um, probably five or six stones in there. So, yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. You can see the stones in that, uh, along with the sunlight from the outside. This has stayed the same, as you can see. I'm leaving both of those open so that I can have skylights. Eventually, I'll build a deck up there. I'll leave that open for now. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you remember, but it used to be there was a bed over here and a bed over here. Now, I've moved that whole thing, and the kitchen is up here. I've got a table here with two stools. These cushion covers are from India. Yes, from India. This is from South America. Central America. Central America-ish. Yeah, Central Mexico, Central America. In other words, I'm drawing energies from around the world this time, trying to draw this pop of color and draw the best energies that I can from everywhere around the world. I still have my salts um, that she left behind, all of them, so I've still got those, and I intend to keep them in. They also tie me to the rest of the planet around the world. Then I moved this other bed over here to make it more of a couch sitting area. And this is also Indian design. And easily to sit, and someone can sleep here as well. And, and then, then the feathers, because we have to have my, feathers. This is my headdress things. And then underneath these are drawers. Underneath there are drawers, and there are areas that hopefully I'm going to make it to the RTR, at which point I'll have somebody help me. Put in a sink and a um, the e energy, the stuff I'm going to use for electric. energy, the electric setup. Um, as you can see, I now have a big old giant TV. <laughs> I was getting, I had a, what was it, a 32 inch and they didn't have one that was a 32. I think it's 40. Or 40, something like that. Oh, yeah, about a 42 inch. Mm -hmm. Brought it out here, and it was actually perfect. But it didn't work. Something went wrong with it. So I had to take it back, and this is, they didn't have a 42 inch one there. <laughs> so now I have a 50, some, 2 inch or something. Giant. Big, big. So the cool thing is, is this can turn. So it can turn like this. And I can lay down, and it's like I have a big screen TV. And then I can also turn it and drop it. And so it can sit right in that doorway. And I can sit right outside and um, have movie night with people that are in the park. If I make friends with somebody, we can watch a movie together out there, which is really nice. We also got new phones. So these are the Moto Z4. Z4s, and they have these... <clears throat> mods that you can add to them, and one of them is a projection mod. S we got Steve one for his birthday and checked it out, and it can go as big as 70 inches. So I can also do that outside to have friends over whenever I'm at the park so that I can have visitors over. Also, I can have this, this up, and this door open, and this door open, and lay here and have nice lots of air and uh, be able to see out and about. As you can see right now, I am at the house. We are in the process of closing on house number one to a very nice gentleman who's a single guy about my age, um, who is a caretaker. And uh, uh, he just wants to be have his own place away out in the country. So, uh, as soon as that's done, hopefully next week or the week after, then we'll start on this house. And, uh, yeah, then we can get this one fixed up. And sold. Move it along. And get Move it out. on down. Move and it on down. And so here's the lights all the way around. We had uh, lights that were different colors, but they quit working. 
right after my previous mate left, and uh, we couldn't find any more. They just wouldn't come. So we bought the white ones, and the white ones have worked like a charm. So in, in the second build, I learned after struggling and fighting it and fighting it for about a month and a half that I had to stop fighting it and go with the flow. And in the flow, everything started happening much easier, much faster. It kept so, popping right into your lap. Yes, everything started happening very quickly, very easily. So I'm very much feeling, finally feeling better. Had a lot of health issues. I think I told, oh, maybe it was a WhatsApp group. Ended up in the hospital a couple times and had three impacted teeth removed. So I had a lot of physical issues, but that had to do with uh, me not paying attention and uh, I will not do that again. So as much as I would like to travel with someone, what comes first is helping Gaia. And that is what I will be making sure that that is covered at all times. No matter where I'm traveling with or where I'm going, that will come first from now on. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> I say that every time, don't I? Yeah, every time. <laughs> and then, guys... <clears throat> Up top is the drum and the painting. And my love and my hope. So love the stuff hope. that was mine, that was very definitely mine, is still mine. And then I changed the color on a couple of things that were just... just. Well, uh, you changed color on practically everything. Yeah, everything but the countertops. And that, was, that stuff I will change as soon as I... We're able. Uh, as soon as I get the, the ability to change the interior... Uh, I, I will do that, but it's going to cost probably five, six hundred dollars to do that. So I'll put that on the back burner. This is enough that I've got it enough fixed that I am better. Uh, the bus is driving, by the way, fantastic. Everybody loves her. Um, I will be doing the outside. The roof is silicone, unfortunately. However, I was able to find out that I can use denatured alcohol and clean that up put a tooth to it, and then I'll paint the top like it's clouds. And then I will probably just be emphasizing what was on there before, only in my own way. And um, adding pink wheels. Yes, I now have pink wheels, so not the, the brown ones. I have pink ones now. So it'll take me a little bit to do that, but we are still at the end of a uh, hot summer here in Texas. Uh, but we're down two weeks now. Yay! Before we can travel our little butts out of here, right? <laughs> before we can escape the Texas heat. So, yeah, I probably will stay here for a while. And hope to be getting back into some um, some videos. Catch back up a little bit. Uh, and I've started my book, my first book. Stephanie started her first book. And I've worked at... I got trying a drawing to figure tablet. out, <laughs> trying to figure out the best way of going about which book to do first, and I think I've got, I think we both have got our which ones we're doing first, and how to help the humans on the planet because I think the happier and happier is just not enough. Certainly, it's not enough for some areas of the planet. So I've. Uh, done some checking into biofeedback and maybe some neurofeedback by helping the brain somewhat since I do have a history as a neuro nurse I think that I can possibly incorporate that into a biofeedback type scenario only try to work with the brain a little bit with the history uh, humans their history and their lives I, maybe that's what people are talking about when they say shadow um, work. Or no, something. not shadow. Their ancestry or uh. something. I, I don't know if I really understand what people are talking about about that. But there are some old vibrations that were set up in order to get to the third dimension that people are having a hard time letting go of. So if that's what these people are talking about, well, then I guess then that's what I'm going to work with. Um, since I don't really see what other people are doing, I don't really know. But um, I will, I think, try to see if I can broach the subject that way. We'll get into that in future videos. All right. Oh, the other thing uh, is your spot for the future fireplace. Oh, yeah. 
over here where the table is, right here, because one of the things that I really, really, really wanted if I was going to have a bigger vehicle, because I really wasn't going to get a bigger vehicle. This is twice as big as what I wanted. But that's okay because everything works out the way it's supposed to. And I've got a bigger one, so what I wanted above all else was I wanted a wood-burning fireplace in my traveling home. So since this whole thing got shuffled, I built this table here, but I can take about half of it down and still have half as a work space. And then this other half from here over, I'm going to put a wood-burning fireplace there. But again, that is like... a uh, $600 item so uh, it probably it's a will be future thing. yeah it's it's down the road it's my it's on my wish list plus again Texas it's heat might create yeah it's not you know, practical <laughs> right now but uh, and I don't even know if the intern it was because I'm what I think I told you this guys this before you can get this faux vinyl that you they wrap cars with the same stuff and I'd like to put some faux rock and wood in here. That's my other uh, deal. But I don't know how well that's going to hold up. So if that doesn't, you know, stick well or whatever, then I may take that five or $600 that was going to go to that and put it directly into the fireplace. <laughs> yeah, because the fireplace that That'll I want That'll be your quandary. Is, which one to do first? Yeah, well, it's going to be the fireplace. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, because I'll be moving up there. And it's practical, you know, keep right. it warm for uh -huh. free. Uh -huh. But it's got to be a certain fireplace because I want a fireplace that you can see the fire. I don't want just a very practical one. It's got to be pretty. And the one that I like, it's also got a setup where it will heat water. So you can get hot water off of it as well. So it's very practical, pretty. You can also cook on it, right? Fire. Oh, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't have a fireplace you couldn't cook on. So you got to be able to, I've got to be able to see a beautiful fire. I've got to be able to cook on it. I like the setup that's got the hot water that it produces so I can have hot water. So, yeah, it does all those things. And probably much, much more. <laughs> I don't know. I may get the one that has the oven, although I'm not I'm not sure. That may be just, I may be being silly on that because it looks cool. But, yeah, I really would like to have an oven, but I... I don't know whether or not it's worth the additional money. Okay, enough of that rambling. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted you guys to see all of this so that you would see what I've been doing. I've not been slacking. Work has been being done. It's just not been Videos. video tape work this time. So, yeah. I will hope to get uh, back in touch with you guys again. So give me a few as I start to get back in the swing of things again. And, uh, yeah, huge hugs. I love you guys so much, and thank you for bearing with. I'll see you later. Bye now.